All right, you ever have one of those days where you feel like a train hit you? That's kind of how I feel this morning. Oof, I was feeling, I was feeling better last night, but I don't know, maybe it was just eating and just talking too much or I don't know. I feel just terrible this morning. So today is the uh, first day of school for the girls. So we're gonna, let me see how this goes. This is gonna be interesting for them and I'm, I'm anxious to hear how this is gonna go. If you follow the vlog, um, you will have heard before I've talked about it. So they're going staggered start A through A through K right now, today, and tomorrow's L through Z. So uh, really today's just kind of like a feeler day, uh, just to kind of see how things are gonna go and pick up their schedules and their computers and stuff. Um, so be interesting to see how this goes. So I know for Taylor, they have to pull up in their car line. Uh, so Mackenzie will pull up with her they have to stay in the car until a teacher or somebody comes out with like a thermometer thing, yeah. checks them and clears them, and then they can go. Huh? I don't have one shoe. You, have one sh you should probably wear two shoes to school. They say coronavirus can be on the ground. You look pretty. Yeah. For a weird like first day of school type thing. You got a mask? Yes, it's in there. Yeah. Any concerns? No. No? no. Just gonna be school as usual? Yeah. Yeah. You're just gonna wash your hands now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, now they're not making you wear a mask, so they don't make them wear a mask. It is suggested. It is heavily in suggested, right? Mm -hmm. So during passing period and all that stuff, and but I'm sure if you're at your desk, like I'm interested to see what this school classroom looks like. Yeah. So I don't know if you can get video, but I'll try. I know their schools are weird with like video and stuff. They don't let the kids like take pictures or video, right? If we had cameras in class when we were kids, we, I would have videoed everything. It would have been like a vlog coming from the classroom. What about you, Maddie? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready for school? Um, no. No? Five months off wasn't enough? Uh, no. Do you have any concerns going to school? Yeah, getting my other shoe. Well, yeah, you should wear two shoes. It's a good start to school. Anyways, so we'll see. No, masks are not mandatory, but they're heavily suggested to wear them. So it's going to be your choice if you want to wear it or not. I think if you're in any proximity where you're really close to people, maybe put it on. Just kind of use common sense. I know that's not common anymore, but see how the first day of school goes. And then uh, we'll just kind of hang out in the house today. I think it's even until I feel a little bit better. Man, that, who would think that a tooth would sideline you like this? Adios, ladies. Adios. Have fun in the uh, the new coronavirus experience. I'm just gonna hang out here at the house until uh, I feel like I've been hit by a bus or something. Cause I mean, it is it is humid out there. I was gonna try to do a water the fruit trees. We haven't had we have not had like solid rain in quite some time now, and it's starting to starting to affect some of the plants and trees. We're supposed to get pretty good storms today, but every time they do that and say we're going to, we don't get it. And then just trying to muster up some energy right now. Um, I still don't feel like eating much. So I'm just whipping up a little, little shake here, kind of like Jamba Juice style. It's the best replication uh, that I can do of those. So they're good. Um, at least it gets me some healthy, healthy nutrients inside and get going i need some energy to get into town because like i mentioned the other day i need to help out a uh, another food truck one of our favorite ones uh the italian apron a little local truck here in maryville uh so they are going to be downtown maryville and we're just trying to do some uh, b-roll and highlight stuff for them i need to get down there and that's gonna be hard because i'm gonna need to find a way to eat some of the fried raviolis because they are the best thing in the world italian food is definitely a weakness in my book so it's hard. It's gonna be a struggle to be around it, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to eat something. I'm gonna have to give in. So that's why I'm going a little light with, sh with the smoothie right now, and then we'll go from there. Speaking of this thing, totally like kicking your butt. Like I wanted it to, because of that infection, I've been running a fever. So yeah, I think it was just just trying to like fight off the infection. The dentist said that it was, you know, one of the biggest infections he's seen in a tooth as of late. So, I mean, that's 98. So. Not running a fever, um, so that's good. Just gonna try to get this 
get some food in me, get going, get the camera stuff ready, and then we'll head uh, head into Maryville and uh, do a little B-roll, and I'll introduce y'all to, to Mark and Kim uh, and their Italian apron food truck. Well, that is a very welcoming sight. Ah. Oh. All right, that was a quick little storm. Cleared off kind of nice. Uh, much needed, that's for darn sure. All right, so like I said, I am heading into uh, into town in downtown Maryville for the Italian apron truck. We're gonna get some B-roll, introduce you all to them, and uh, try to make it back here before the storms hit later on. It's supposed to get real spice around three or four, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, it looks like it's uh, Clearing off be a nice little afternoon for some lunch at the Italian Apron. Alright, definitely looked like it rained. Dodged the rain here a little bit, which is good. So they're food truck and stuff, so I'm wearing the mask um, just to do my part. Plus, I still have some gauze that I put in here just because it's kind of uh still just not like it's not bleeding, it's just oozing. So just wanted to put this on uh it just helps and my breast stinks so so just want to do my part in that so this is the italian apron uh they have oh just so many good delicious yummies <laughs> hey what's going on so they're the they're the italian apron so look at all this food all right we're gonna film some stuff place their order and their time which which is huge because if you're a business nowadays you need to adapt no matter what you always have to adapt so the fact that you can adapt to this situation with online ordering and contactless payments and all this other stuff if you can find a way to make it work and succeed more power to you and that's exactly what they're doing every quarter we donate a portion of our sales to the, uh, to the cancer uh, institute and they use it for cancer patients that need direct. Yes. Nice. They need if they're if they're short of any type of bills or anything else specific. There's a fund, Stevens Cancer Fund, is specifically what we donate to, and that goes directly to the patients. Sweet. So that is that is good to hear because I wish more people did specific like that. Like my that is important to us. all of my projects, I give 10% back to St. Jude. Awesome. And I do it just because. I got kids, I can only imagine being there with yep. your kids and the fact that they pay bills and if you can't make it, they help you out. Like that's that's where more people need to give to is the direct right to the person. Yeah, you know, don't feel like so 
That's fantastic. So Kim actually went to a culinary institute in Italy. So when when they throw authentic taste of Italy on the side of their trailer, it's it's true. Like they they know the authentic taste of Italy. It's fantastic. And so they're just pumping out food. It is so good to see them busy. Uh, love seeing small businesses and little like you know husband wife duos just like us doing well and just you know having fun while doing it too. Had a guy we had a guy just stop and uh, he saw me filming and he was asking about their food truck. He's gonna do a food truck event I think. Um, and so he wanted one of their cards and then he asked what I was doing. I was like, oh, I'm just filming. He's like, oh, you film, that's awesome. He's like, do you have a drone? That just seems to be the question now, right now. It's like everybody knows, like, hey, Hogue crashed his drone, so let's just, let's ask him about doing drone work. Let's just, you know, just pour salt in the wind. Yeah, that's all right. Cause we're getting the drone, we're getting the drone issue fi figured out right now. Um, talking with DJI, I think we may be, uh, back up flying high in a little bit oh man it is Ooh, the heat starting to set in now now it is starting to get warm like it is humid and muggy and just bleh. that was so hard to, to stay in there and just see those delicious meatball sandwiches fried raviolis the mozzarella sticks just all that being cooked right in front of you and knowing that you can't eat that because you just had a tooth oh Ugh. that's okay gives me something to look forward to when I get better but wanted to hop in Vienna really quick grab a uh, one of these drinks espresso and honey it is fantastic but I text Jessica really quick to make sure they can make it cold and they can because they can't have anything hot so your boy has been struggling without coffee lately it smells so good in here all this coffee I need to get coffee from her too one of these I think we need front po front porch blend I think that was our favorite This is the, the drink I want to get. It's made with that Thunderhead espresso. You know people that walk loud and you can hear them coming a mile away. I'll clean those. Yep, that's Jessica. Sorry, are I you just, filming? I was just saying, <laughs> you know how you tell people that walk loud? I said, you can always tell when Jessica's coming. Listen, it was all doom, 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 Yeah, and usually doom, I'm wearing doom, heels, so it's worse. Yes, so. Heavy foot, I guess. What's up? How's everything going in here? Well, check this out. He's taking a long time because he's really into it about oh. how the leaves flow and the berries and everything. Like yeah. the a young guy that works for us, uh -huh. he's a college student, and he's really studied this plant. So That's pretty cool. When he gets done, it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna have leaves on both sides. It's a cool design. I appreciate people that can draw yeah. well, so I, much because I can't draw. I can draw as long as I look at it, anything. But, yeah. yes. I can't draw anything. But I can't, my daughter, my third child can draw anything. My brother, my uncle, huh. off the top of their head. Huh. I can't. I appreciate people that can draw. Y'all are good. So, so wait, it's Amarillo's the jelly flavored. Peanut butter and jelly blend. How did he come up with it? Let's go ask him and then you can kind of film it. <laughs> okay, let's ask him. Let's him. ask. Peanut butter yeah. and jelly blend. Okay. All right, peanut butter and jelly blend. You created it? I did, yes. What inspired peanut butter and jelly? Uh, we had a Brazilian coffee that had this kind of intense peanut butter taste to it. Okay. And so I thought, I bet if we mix that with a nice natural processed coffee, it would have that jamminess. Yeah. Sure enough, it did. So really? we took a we took a, a Brazil, a yellow bourbon Brazil. Okay. Mixed it with a natural Uganda, and what you get is that like peanut butter with like a nice jammy sweetness. Okay. So that's. I'm the, sold. That's it. He just sold a bag. I'm gonna go buy a bag now. <laughs> that's it. I just wanted to. I was fascinated by it, and I wanted to hear how. You guys would come up with that, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go blend that, and then we're gonna try it tomorrow. So. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that was easy. Yeah. Oh man, I'm gonna get in trouble from Babs. I bought, got more coffee to bring home, and I just ordered another bag from Dan. And now we got Black Rifle, our monthly, the monthly subscriptions coming. It's like the Koala or something. <sighs> Never have too much coffee, and of course I can't drink coffee right now, so that's why I got to go iced, without a straw too so hard to drink without a straw i am so accustomed I'm, I'm a straw person is anybody else a straw person like you can't drink without a straw like i am just that person where i need to have a straw that's why california and i didn't get along not that i don't care about turtles but i don't know just drinking out of a glass in a restaurant without a straw is just yeah all right let's get home do some editing Ooh, that's a lot of steel huh look at this actually looks like a pool pool now right you can actually see the shape you can see where the walls are going to go you got your baja shelf here so you can see where they went a little uh a little much with the steel right like they independently they ran these down then took your other one bent that in to here then ran another one like guys in the past are just like 
you put it here you're going down you bend you just keep it running and then wherever that one ends you just run up the next wall and then make your cut so it's a little bit of some extra steps there but it's all right i appreciate it i appreciate the work it's just a different way and that's fine there's more than one way to to skin the cat so it's uh coming together that's good um looks like they skipped the adobes and just went with some uh pavers i like that creative so we got one skimmer in uh there's a second skimmer going in over there i think holes are there for the lights we're gonna have three lights in the pool and one in the spa i believe eric and jose are daniel's two guys from california that are here doing the work um they're doing the plumbing plumbing work right now working on the spa to put in eight jets i believe in the spa uh it's a big pool this is a big pool it is gonna be beautiful you can only dream to have a pool this big it'll be awesome to see this thing put together and uh, once it's all done and uh yeah got a little bit of work to do still but these guys are working hard getting this thing done all right now we'll get home just want to stop by i had to get some video for daniel for this just to kind of document the process so cool stuff so babs whipped up this um soup that we got at one of these dinner shows in pigeon forge or severeville whatever you want to call it hatfield and mccoy i don't know it's just like a creamy soup it's just kind of basic soup so we added she added some shredded chicken to it and some veggies it was really good at the show so we're that's hoping we're hoping it's still going to be the same that's yeah. what it is so first day of school how was it first day of coronavirus school good everything everyone wear masks everybody had a mask on how are your desks spread apart now mine you just sat like left a desk in between Left a desk in between. Like, you'd sit here and leave a desk in someone. Any, like, plexiglass or anything in between you guys? Or? No. Nope. Just a regular classroom looking thing? Yeah. But there's, like, way less kids. And our class size is already small. Well, because you have digital learners on top of traditional, on hybrid, on whatever. Um, You're doing culinary? Do you start that now or no? Not yet. We're going to start cooking up, but I have to get scrubs. We have another cook here. Another cook in the house. Yeah. We'll because see. She has trouble. She burns boiling water as it stands right now. So. Um, and I, I'm not kidding. <laughs> she, uh, once she put a um, cup of noodle in the microwave. In the box, in the wrapper. Without water. Three minutes, start. So yes, yeah, so you can imagine what styrofoam does in burnt cooking noodles in a uh, microwave with no water the in it. The noodles were actually disintegrated because they yeah. I think we have a picture. I'll show you what it looked like. But anyways, so yeah, soup today, easy on the tooth. I appreciate that, Babs. Now you had a run in already with the mask. What was the deal? Show my mouth. What? Come on, let's hear it. So I guess they called her out. You guys had an assembly? And you just took your mask off for a second? To put gum in her mouth. To put gum in your mouth? And that's yeah. when she came over to you? It was me, and then there was another girl that was behind me that just wasn't wearing one at all, and I just took mine off to grab the gum. And she came up to us, and she was like, if you guys are not willing to wear a mask, then you guys need to move, because this this is why we have such a big problem. You're the cause of this problem, or something like that. I was like, oh. So that, that made me a little upset when I heard that. So I already have an email drafted to that science teacher and the principal. I just wanted to get a confirmation from you. Yes, I'm going to send it. Because if that's how this is going to go, this is going to be a very long school year. Um, for you to sit there and accuse my daughter as part of being a problem for taking her mask off to put a piece of gum in. So, that'll be fun. Because some of Mackenzie's teachers already know me pretty good. Huh, good old Pink. Pink? I don't know if Pink watches these vlogs, but... Hope you're doing alright, Pink. Hope our, our differences are set aside now. But yeah, all right, we're gonna enjoy this this uh, soup. How is it? Good, I think I need some chunks of potatoes. Mm -mm. Ooh, that would no. be good. Maybe mm -mm. put like shredded hash browns in there or something. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, like this. All right, it's good. So that is good. Tomorrow we got some uh, fun stuff planned. We gotta go shopping too, back to school stuff since the girls don't have school. We gotta go back and do some more Italian apron stuff. Uh, yeah, busy day, so that's it from Tennessee.